Now this jet stove appears to be a bit cantankerous today. So this is taking a couple of tries. We're going to keep trying. When in doubt, poke at it and see. Mm-hmm. The paper ain't burning. There you go. There we go. Starting to make some of the right noises. And we're burning wood instead of just newspaper. That makes it time to put the oil on. Always keep wood in it, but do not overstuff. You gotta keep your airflow flowing. This thing will break, even if it breaks off bits at a time. You gotta keep your flames up here until it's more of a proper sealed up jet stove. Then, once we get it mudded, you won't even see flames out the top. But it'll sound like a jet engine. Which is why it's called a jet stove. And the next candidate for anything. The uh, bits and pieces that we got from the uh, sawmill included some things that are more like a card than a lug. And they burn just fine in the jet stove. Keep your eye on it. And you can tell by the good crunch that this stuff is good and dry. <sighs> when I'm gathering kindling in the winter for the wood stove, that's pretty much how you tell if it's ready. If it's got snap. Well, the grease is starting to make noise. But it did not immediately react, so it ain't quite ready yet, but it's getting there. And the jet stove is less of a science and more of an art form, a balancing act between 
feeding it enough good stuff and don't lock off the air. And the grease is making plenty of noise, but it ain't ready till it makes plenty of noise and then goes quiet again. Ooh, it is ready. It sizzled immediately when I flipped. And that means it is ready for the fries. Gotta dump the water off. Oh, shoot. Well, the animals are getting a few fries. Best to put them all in at once. Then we give them a stir. And then we leave them alone till they float. Make sure nothing's attached to the bottom. Then we wait for it to turn good and brown. Almost. Needs a little more brown on it. That's more golden than brown. Get it on the 
newspaper to drain. With me around here cooking, the animals eat great.
feed the birds while you're at it. So, if you are looking to figure what you can do on a jet stove, that's how you do it. Simple brunch. Fries and egg sandwiches. Peace.